uh, the Eaton 3S550 uh, UPS battery backup. Uh, a lot of customers will have these particular devices on site. These are used for to not only protect your point of sale terminal from surges, brownouts, uh, power outages, um, but to also be able to keep your POS terminal powered on um, so you're able to close off any open tables that you may have or print off any checks um, so you can get your customers paid up and, uh, and out of the establishment while you don't have any power. The first thing we'll kind of explain is how the battery is hooked up inside of this. So if you flip this over here, we'll just take this little piece of paper off. It just says connect battery before use. So we'll take that off. Here you have your battery door. It's easiest to use like a, a flathead screwdriver to kind of just put in here and pry that back. This cover slides off and inside you'll see your battery here. You have your plus, um, your positive connection here and your negative lead here. Your negative lead is generally always hooked up anyways. You just have to connect your positive. So generally a lot of this, this will be done for you um, by Pineapple Bites. But we'll show you just how to take this out here. So we just kind of remove it. And inside here, you have your little plastic lead. And that just slides onto this little connector there. You just make sure it's in there nice and tight, pushed up. And then you just kind of push it back in. You have your battery connected. The cover slides back on here. There you go. So now what you're going to want to do is just take the UPS here and plug it into our wall outlet. And the power of the UPS on, you're just simply going to hold in your power button located at the top here until it beeps and then you just let it go. And you'll notice here you have a, a green light, signifies everything is good, this unit's powered up, it's working fine. There is a little red um, light beside here, caution. Um, if you ever do have this hooked up properly and this, uh, this light may come on, that could indicate that the... Um, the positive and negatives are reversed in your uh, wall outlet. So you may need to get an electrician in to, to fix that for you. Explain the two sides of the UPS here. So you have one side here. And uh, this goes, says surge protection. So everything that's connected here, you get surge protection from. Uh, and then on this side, you see that it says surge protection and battery backup. So anything you have plugged into these four outlets uh, will be protected by the battery. So if the power goes out, anything that is plugged into these four outlets will remain on. Uh, anything that is plugged into these surge outlets, if the power goes out, will turn off because they're not uh, protected by the battery on this side. So you can, we can demonstrate quickly what happens if the power goes out. We'll simply just disconnect the power from the wall here. And you're going to see that this green light starts blinking and you can hear a beep happen. So that's going to do that. It's going to beep and it's going to keep blinking there to signify that this unit is running off its battery. So you know that whatever wall outlet it's plugged into is currently not providing this with power. So this will do this depending on how many devices you have hooked up and the load that you have put on this UPS. This can generally last up to anywhere between 15 to 30 minutes. Um, that will keep power on. Uh, so that will give you a good time to be able to go onto your point of sale terminal, print off any open checks you may have, and power down the terminal properly so when this actually does drain its battery, the power is just not being shut off on your point of sale terminal. You want to make sure you shut that, shut that down correctly. This will continue to do this until it's about a minute away from dying. When it gets close, it will do a long, steady beep to signify that in about a minute, it's got to turn off. Once the battery is drained, this unit will completely turn off. It will stop beeping and this light will stop blinking green. It will just be off completely. To get that back on, what you're going to want to do is make sure like if the power comes back on, so we'll plug it back into the wall here. You can see here as soon as it gets power back, as long as the battery was still active, the green light will stop blinking. It will go back to its regular mode and it will stop beeping. Everything's good for that now. You can power on your devices normally. Then what you're going to want to do is if, let's say you come in in the morning and this has been beeping and then it just died. What you're going to know is you'll notice that the UPS here 
will not have a light on. So that's going to tell you that the power that has been going to this UPS has been shut off. The battery has completely drained. The UPS is now not turned on. So you're going to want to make sure when you come back in the morning or if it's hours later, you're going to want to make sure you hold down this again until it beeps and let go. And that will power this back on again. And as it's connected to here, it's, it's, it's recharging the battery the whole time. So then once this is turned back on, you can go ahead and power on your devices and everything will work fine again. Also, another thing about this, if your battery ever goes faulty or something's not working correctly with the battery in this unit, you do still have the option to use it as a surge protector only. So you can move your devices, unplug them from the battery side, plug them into the surge side, and as long as it's still plugged into a wall outlet that's supplying power, you'll be able to power your devices up using the surge protection side. But if for any reason this light is not turned on, or you have a red light on beside the power here, anything plugged into your battery outlets are not going to work until you fix the problem with the UPS. If you have any other questions, feel free to reach out to Pineapple Bites directly, but thank you for tuning in.